close it to you not too much time on it because uh, you know there are other designs also for example c2 mos where you have this uh, uh, what do you say uh, uh, this kind of a design where even if now you have both phases of clock over here clk and clk bar both exist over here but what happens uh, at any given point of time uh, even if one side goes active the other side will not drive so even in in the case of a 0 0 overlap or a 1 1 overlap even in the case of overlaps you will see that your design is safe okay again uh, this over here also this x node is is uh, many times floating not really a very stable state to be in so even c2 mos designs you will not see you will not find to be used at many many places but yes where there is a very high requirement for density and also this risk of clock clock bar overlap uh, you can you can think of using this kind of a c2 mos design also and then you will have to use keepers you know as is already said you will have to use keepers and all those things will need to be done okay this is also a dynamic design so uh, while these are solutions you will notice they are not very commonly used because of the very nature that there are floating nodes there and with floating nodes the biggest problem is on a flop or a sequencing element if you use floating nodes the overall robustness of the entire system can get compromised so they are not very commonly used but they are proposals they are ideas which you just need to be aware of so okay. okay. tspc and c2 mos are both parallel solutions to the bad drive problem right not uh, yes the there is no advantage over c2 mos over tspc right no okay. no yes okay uh yeah now we come to timings i think let's start with this in the next class the timings of a of a timings related to a latch and a flop we'll start with the next class then we will see okay yes so great mm yes so uh, sir in digital circuits we we uh, we trained a very different design of flip flop and latches in that we progressed uh, very uniformly from an sr latch then we added enable signal then we created a latch then we created master slave to make a flip flop d flip flop so and then we also saw a design of d flip flop which consisted of many and gates and and gates not gates so which was not even master slave it was just a single for d flip flop so do do we even make those designs or we make the designs that we just saw so we want to make keep it as simple as possible and as dense as possible na mother yes so this is how we would use it as dense as possible so even the densest one that we looked at today hmm, which was the one that just let me go back to that side the ones that we looked at with uh, set reset or isse pehle wala you see this one itself is such a big flop is it not it's nowhere near what we were talking digital circuits was the digital circuits diagram was just big yeah but look at it the digital circuit one is something like this because digital circuit one you did all set reset also from outside now because you started from sr latch yes sir so digital circuit one looked like this probably um, hai na so yes sir yeah because you started from as sr latch yes sir over here what we are saying is that set reset functionality is not required in all the flops so why waste area okay yeah yes na in vlsi area is gold so why waste area jahan pe nahi chahiye kyun us functionality ki wajah se area waste karna let's save area okay yes okay yes great so uh, we will close the class now if there were some project related doubts you can ask them kagandi yes sir uh, sir i was asking that if we look at the layout aspect then C square MOS looks like very very good design. That yes, it could be. So could we like to some um, do a trade off and go for it and uh, like uh, make two keepers and then implement the C square MOS instead of this 
Yeah, but if still will be pseudo static again, they realize this. There will still be some risk, some robustness risk. So people use it anyways. That is why I've, I've even touched upon it. Otherwise, touchy na karta main. People use it, but it's very rarely used. In very very specific cases, someone would use that kind of a flaw. Okay. Um, yes, sir. We had some project related doubts also. Mm-hmm. Uh, sir, basically, we are comparing the uh, complex and non-complex implementation of AOI two to one. So, mm-hmm. in that, sir, we uh, simply created the two netlists and uh, uh, tried to verify that whether the delays decrease in the non-complex implementation. Also, we did the theoretical calculation. So, for by the theoretical calculation, L mod delay and all. So, we were able to uh, uh, I mean expect. We expected that the delay would decrease, but. Uh, Uh, opposite of that is happening. We are we are getting more delays in the uh, non non complex one. Okay. So, anyways, finally, you would get better delays with the complex implementation because of uh, lesser wires and more density and everything. But uh, I'm surprised that uh, even when you are uh, uh, not talking about the layouts and not talking about those parasitics, even then you are able to see that. क्योंकि हमने जो क्लास में भी एक्सपेरिमेंट करा था उसमें भी सॉ दैट द डिले ऑफ ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स गेट वुड बी स्लाइटली हायर दो इट इज मच डेंसर बट द इफेक्ट वुड बी विजिबल लार्जली ओनली आफ्टर एक्सट्रैक्शन सो आई एम सरप्राइज यूर एबल टू सी इट बिफोर एक्सट्रैक्शन आल्सो सर क्लास वाले एक्सपेरिमेंट में सर देयर वाज अ थिंग दैट यू यू हैड पुट अ इनवर्टर आफ्टर द एओआई एंड देन also you remove the two emo- inverters that could have come in the other logic so mm-hmm. that ki- that was kind of a natural thing to reduce the delay of the non complex implementation so bhai sahab yahan bhi aapko bubble pushing karni hai na ji sir kiye hain sir usse humne nor ko nand mein badalna chahte hain so Haan. can we do that yeah so there is bubble no compulsion that you have to bubble pushing karo static gate se banao bas स्टार्टिक मतलब बेसिक गेट से बनाओ बस ये आपसे रिक्वायरमेंट है फंक्शनैलिटी वो चाहिए वी नीड दैट फंक्शनैलिटी बट यू मेक इट फ्रॉम द बेसिक गेट वी आर कॉलिंग इट एन और इनवर्ट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट यू टू यूज एन एन गेट एन एन और गेट एन एन इनवर्टर ग्रेटर नो 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 दैट इज द फंक्शनैलिटी ओके डू द बबल पुशिंग गेट टू द डेंसेस्ट इंप्लीमेंटेशन यू सी इट इज इट शुड बी स्लाइटली फास्टर non complex should be faster right yeah non complex should be slightly faster on stat on on simulation first simulation but after layout you will see that complex one will be much faster so in the pre simulation we are getting that uh, uh, this uh, complex gate was little faster that so the post pre- post uh, layout to fir aur acha ho jayega Yes, sir, yes. sir, it's not the point that our complex gate is faster. So uh, it's better. It's good if it is faster. But the point is that the theoretical calculations and the simulations are not agreeing with each other. That's the problem. So how yeah, we justify it? Okay, because look, in the theoretical calculations also you have ignored so many capacitors. Is it not? A simulation has taken care of all the device capacitances, including source, strain, and uh, Miller capacitance, and so many things the simulation would take care of. that's also fine but i was not expecting it to already show it to you suppose sir uh, if we have done the layout of the complex and the non complex then my non complex layout will be fast should be faster or no okay because of the parasitics addition yeah 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 i was not expecting that parasitics in the non complex gate would already be so high that it will be slower than the complex gate i was not expecting this but if it is happening it is happening it's fine Okay, so sir, like, can I say that uh, the non-complex and the complex, uh, the di- differences between the two, that with the complex we are not able to achieve the better area, but also better delays. Yeah, so the complex gates give you better delays and also better area, more density. And also the leakage would be better because. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That so is why these are used so commonly. Okay, so on all kind of parameters, PPA, I am getting. Better complex, okay, over the non-complex. Okay, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, so when I was making the layout of non-complex gate implementation, sir, so uh, I tried it, sir. And uh, for routing purpose, sir, can we use clock for routing? Sir? Sorry, uh, poly for routing. No, avoid that. 
uh, polyphor outing within the cell it is fine but within, uh, within, the, cell. Yeah, within the cell it is okay 65 nanometer may i allow you but uh, realize that in 45 onwards poly routing is not allowed sir then uh, we have, we should definitely go to uh, i when i was seeing the constraint sir uh, i made it without m2 layer usage so without m2 layer usage uh, uh, I, I ran a poly down and above, above for the clock and uh, one other for uh, one kind of uh, connection which is uh, given so back. So see, convention of clock ke liye to poly routing bilkul bhi nahi use karni oh. Because poly is very, very resistive. If you're so, using, if you use I'm, poly for hmm. clock routing, then what, what you are essentially doing is you're putting a large R on the clock path. You're adding lots of more delays there. Sir, but uh, I am covering it with an PP layer. Doesn't that? Uh... No, even then it is resistive. No, it, it is it is bound to be more resistant than a metal, is it not? Yes, yes, sir. yeah. That is what you should remember. It is always more resistive than copper. Okay, sir. So, hmm. sir, then uh, can we use M2 layer for that, sir? Just for clock, in case. No, not for clock. On for routing clock. So you're using dynamic gates. Yeah, dynamic and non-complex. So interconnecting clock between different dynamic gates, you can use metal two. Interconnecting signals across different gates, you can use metal two. For every gate independently, there should be no metal two usage. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So Gandhi. Yes, sir. Sir, very small doubt. Uh, sir, basically. Uh, uh, if I have a uh, circuit A and circuit B, if circuit A has a uh, high rise time and circuit B has lower high, uh, rise time. So, sir, uh, if I ask about the rise propagation delay, then I will expect the circuit A to have a, 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 a correspondingly high, uh, high rise delay also and uh, other one would have the lower. So, basically, this should kind of correlate according to I mean, what I think. But... But in the uh, simulation that we ran, uh, at that point of time, we were able to see that it was not the case. For the circuit where rise time was higher, the rise propagation delay was lower. Uh, so it, this should not kind of, this is very counterintuitive to me. No, if there, are, if there is a path that we're talking about, Gagandhi, if there are two or three stages that a, a signal is moving from input to output, then it could be that uh, the, the, the design is skewed in such a way that the propagation delay moves differently than, uh, will be differently for rise and fall. And uh, uh, the final stage, the rise time and fall time is largely dependent on the load versus the drive strength of the PMOS and the NMOS in the output stage. So they are actually independent things. Okay, so I am comparing the input slew of the first stage. So I should compare yeah. the input slew of last stage. Like, uh, okay. Yeah. Take it. Sorry. Uh -huh. sir, sir, I mean, shouldn't the slew and the delays uh, should have a similar trend? No. That is what I am saying, no? So I'm not able to get that. Why Why not? If I, my, why, why that should not be the case? I mean. So let us say you have this chain hmm? now what did you do you high skewed it you low skewed it you high skewed it and you let us say made this as a balanced one so what will happen the high transition zero to one transition will be fast yes one to zero will be fast zero to one will be very fast so the is there a fault transition here that will happen the delay will be much shorter Huh? Yes. But in this particular gate, since it is only balanced, my rise time and fall time are exactly the same. So the delays are different, but the rise time and fall time are same. Are okay. you able to see that? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Anna? If you are talking only of one gate, then whatever assumptions you are making could be correct. But that is, uh, don't build such correlations which can hamper your overall. If I have not told you that correlation, it may not exist. Or if it exists, then yes, it is good to validate. So, for example, in this case, both were same. The rise time and the fall time were same and the delays were different. 
Could yes. be different. So, but for example, if my rice time is improving, hmm. so my rice delay should also be improving, right? Why? Let's see example. Ko dekhte hain chalo. What did I say? I said high, low, high. So, its ka high rising fast tha, falling fast tha, rising fast tha, and isko maine suppose isko bhi maine high skew kar diya. Yes, sir. So, what happened? Because the rising was the the see in three inverters, in three inverters, the falling delay of this particular gate was preferred. So, the even though it is a high skewed inverter, the falling delay will be lesser. For this entire path, than the rising delay, but this is a high skewed inverter, so the rise time will be much better than the fall time. Okay, yeah, the delays are getting affected by the previous stages also. What kind of that? Yes. Yes. Okay. But the rise, the rise time, fall time are because of 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 that stage only itself. Okay. Primarily, yes. Primarily, yes. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So always think of the failure case. If you try to, uh, if you are making an assumption, you should not look at examples which justify your assumption. You should try to find examples which violate your uh, your assumption. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes. This is called failure mode analysis, and good designers should always be able to do very well on the failure mode analysis part. Okay? Yes, sir. Vishnu, your hand is raised. You want to ask something else? Sir, a last question, sir. Yeah. Sir, so uh, uh, I'll uh, I can use uh, M two for clock, uh, and they are they are of different stages, uh, obviously. Uh, so I can use M two for uh, uh, clock, and uh, for routing purpose, uh, between different stages, sir, I can use uh, uh, poly, right? Just for routing. No. Between different stages, you only use metal. Okay. Okay. So. Sir, so can I you use, use M two twice? You can use metal one, but you cannot use poly. Okay, so can I use M two twice, sir, in my circuit? Yes. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, thank you. Sir. It should not short. No, 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 sir. It should be clean. Otherwise, you use M two twice, twice, or many times you use. Okay, sir. Thank but thank you. use of M two should only to interconnect gates, not in within the gate. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Have enough. My project office is stop and that's it. Abhinav, your voice is very low. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so sir, uh, my project office is flip flop and that's it. Okay. Regular type. So mm -hmm. uh, in the cent uh, center cell layout, uh, we are considering clock and clock bar as independent signal. Because so you will have to generate clock bar from in within your flip flop, Abhinav. Okay. You will get only clock pin. Okay. 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 Okay.